Hi, I'm going to show you today how to more easily enter mission data uh, for the Mountain Rescue Association members. We've recently created a new entry method and we're calling it a geoform. The geoform is accessible once you've logged into the site with your uh, with your provided logon right here on the front and it's uh, MRA Missions Geoform. This is very similar to the existing form entry that we have, but a bit cleaner and more optimized for use on, um, on portable devices such as iOS or Android devices. If you click on the form here to launch it, the Geoform will come up and you'll see it's very similar in look to the existing form that's hosted through the MRA website. We have the same, mostly the same fields. Uh, due to some feedback, I believe uh, some of the fields have been removed to make it a little easier and uh, efficient to get information entered. So we have the team on the left. Uh, as you start to type a team, it'll pre-populate uh, the team name for you. The location on the right, we can either use a find my location. That's especially useful if you're using a mobile device and it's going to use the GPS to find my location. We can do a search or as in the existing version, we can enter coordinates if we happen to know the exact coordinates of that mission. In the search here, we'll just uh, start by entering Eaton Canyon and we'll take Eaton Canyon Park and that'll zoom us to the Eaton Canyon Park area. We can take the map and zoom in. I can now grab uh, the pin here and drop it to be a little bit more accurate if I wish to see exactly where that uh, operational mission took place. And we'll say this one took place back here by the falls. We can enter the mission number. This is exactly the same information as you were doing before uh, on the other form. The date, we have a date picker. Uh, we have the total number of hours uh, with this mission, the number of rescue uh, rescuers that were involved, how you're notified, and the other information that you're familiar with as far as activity, the number rescued, if there are any fatalities, etc. Uh, this also drops you down to the pop-downs for uh, information on the subjects, aircraft information. And at the bottom, you can choose File. If you click Choose File, it'll allow you to upload a picture or a PDF or a Word document. You might have an after action review associated with this particular incident that you want to keep associated with this or just a photograph of something that went on. And there's an optional space for notes. Once you're done uh, and, and satisfied with the information you've put in, you can just click Submit New Entry and that'll now submit it to the uh, MRA collection. It does give you uh, the ability here if you wanted to share it out. Uh, not sure that a lot of you want to now tweet that out immediately, but uh, maybe. Uh, but it'll send a link uh, to the information to the MRA uh, web, web map. Once we click close, it'll uh, refresh the form, ready for a new entry. Um, also, just to show you some of the responsiveness, if I grab the corner here and I drag the map over, you'll see the, the, uh, the map has disappeared but the map has actually gone to the bottom, which is by design, so that when you're using this on different size devices, that's about sort of your iPad size right there. The map goes to the right. When you start going to sort of an iPhone size, uh, everything does uh, accommodate itself on the screen correctly. So that's the new responsive design that we've looked for uh, in this new data entry to make it uh, say more easy for you to get information in there. Hope you found this useful.